یا یو الدین امن ازا غرب تم فی سبیل اللہ فتح بین ناؤ این ادر کیس این آرمی از گوئنگ مسلم آرمی اگینسٹ سم ٹرائب سم اینمی اینڈ ان دی وے دے فائنڈ اے پرسن اٹ بلونگس ٹو سم ادر ٹرائب اینڈ ہی سیز السلام علیکم وٹ ڈز اٹ مین ہی از ڈکلیئر ہم سیلف ٹو بی اے مسلم ناؤ دیز پیپل تھنک دیٹ اف وی ایکسیپٹ ہیم ایز اے مسلم وی کانٹ کل ہیم دے سے نو یو آر ناٹ مسلم یو آر اونلی سینگ السلام علیکم اونلی ٹو سیو یور لائف so that they can take whatever belongings he has when he is killed and also all his wealth will come to the Muslims. So now this condition, what to do? If there is a combat, you are fighting against a tribe and a person who claims to be a Muslim is fighting along with his tribe against you, then you kill him. Even if he says, Assalamu alaikum, you have to kill him. But here it is an incident which is a stray incident. No fighting, actual fighting is not taking place. You have not, you know, attacked any tribe. The actual fighting is not taking place. You are only going somewhere and you find someone. And he says, Assalamu alaikum, I am also a Muslim. And you say, no, lasta momina. Ya ayyuhal ladhin amanu iza zaraptu fi sabir illahi. Oh, you who believe, when you are going, traveling in the way of Allah, fatabayyanu. Always investigate. وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ أَلْقَى إِلَيْكُمُ السَّلَامَ لَسْتَ مُؤْمِنَا And don't say to anybody who greets you with salam, who bestows on you salam, as-salamu alaykum, who presents himself to be Muslim, لَسْتَ مُؤْمِنَا You are not a moment. You can't say it. تَبْتَغُونَ عَرَوَ الْحَيَاتِ الدُّنْيَا You are covetous of the worldly gains. You want to have the The wealth that he has, anything, maybe even arms, his sword, his something else. So that was also very precious in those days. You want to have the goods of the life of the world. Don't do this. Have faith in Allah. Allah has in store for you very big boot, booties and you know, ghalaim. Allah will give you. But don't behave this way. Kazalika kuntum min qabl. This was your condition before. Before Iman, you were after worldly things. Or all that mattered to you was this world, this worldly life, this worldly comforts, this worldly possessions. But now you have come to believe in the hereafter. So don't behave as you behaving before. قَذَلَكَ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you grace and He has shown His grace to you, bestowed upon you His favors. So now you must investigate. You must investigate whether He is a real Muslim or not. إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرًا Verily, whatever you are doing, Allah is ever aware of it. لا يستوي القاعدون من المؤمنين غير اولي الضرر والمجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالهم وانفسهم Now as I told you that going to war was not made obligatory for every Muslim. There was only persuasion. If you want martyrdom, you want paradise, you want to have the higher grades in in Jannah, well go and fight for the cause of Allah, lay down your life. It was persuasion. Obligatory was only in the last battle of the book. Therefore, whenever there was any battle, and if Muslims, any Muslims which didn't join the Muslim army, there was no explanation was called. Why didn't you go? Because it was not obligatory. It was all voluntary. The persuasion was there. Now that persuasion is coming in a form comparing people who are able-bodied but they are sitting back in their homes and not going to fight for the cause of Allah. And people who are going out to fight for the cause of Allah, to make the deen of Allah supreme and they are making jihad and qital fi sabilillah with their lives and their belongings. Are they equal? No. La yastaril qaiduna. They are not equal. Who are not equal? Al-Qaiduna min al-Mu'minina ghaira ulil zarar. 
those who sit back and are not disabled if somebody is disabled if he is lame if some limb is cut off he can't go so that is something else but a person who is able bodied and he who has all the means and still he doesn't go and join the qital fi sabilillah this person is not equal to those wal mujahidun fi sabilillah bi amwalihim wa anfusihim who are going to jihad in the way of allah with their own lives risking their lives and their belongings faddal allah al mujahidin bi amwalihim wa anfusihim al qaidin al daraja allah has given a very big higher level for those he has reserved a very big high level for those who made jihad for the cause of allah with their belongings and their lives wa kullam wa'ad allah al husna but for all allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised good things because it is not obligatory therefore if somebody is not going to to the war to to, to the battlefield to fight for the cause of allah because it is not obligatory allah will not deprive him from paradise from his reward but when it becomes obligatory if you don't go then you are depriving yourself from the reward of allah subhanahu wa taala because it was still voluntary it was optional you can go if you like if you want a higher level in jannah go if you don't want well you can sit back no explanation will be called from you no blaming will come on you wa kullam wa'ad allah al husna wa faddal allah al mujahidin ala al qaidin ajran azima again a persuasion but allah subhanahu wa taala will give much greater rewards to those who are fighting for the cause of allah who are making jihad in the way of allah as compared to those who have who are sitting back darajat minhu again to emphasize these will be the degrees raised high by him it is from allah subhanahu wa taala wa maghfiratan and then there will be also forgiveness of their sins wa rahma and again more of mercy wa kana allah ghafurur rahima and allah subhanahu wa taala is ghafur forgiving rahim and he is merciful 